Hello everybody. I hope everybody is okay. Welcome back to JYDT Tech. Today's uh, project or today's presentation is about hot water cylinders, domestic hot water cylinders in the UK. There are two types of hot water, domestic hot water cylinders in the UK. Um, they represent the majority of what you see in flats and homes. Vented cylinders and unvented cylinders. Vented cylinders and unvented cylinders also have two types. Both are direct or indirect, as we shall see in the slides. The um, direct or indirect cylinders, as you can see, in the direct cylinder, there is cold water coming in, heated up by immersion elements, electric immersion elements, and then there is hot water pipe at the top, taking it to the domestic hot water taps outlets in the property. In the indirect cylinder, there is a cold feed coming in, hot water coming out, but there is inside a coil, and that coil gets fed and heated up by the boiler where there's it's coming in very hot coming out losing the heat to the surrounding water heating it up and going back to the boiler to be heated up again these the water inside the coil and the potable water outside in the cylinder do not mix because this is not potable water while this is potable water what i mean by potable water is the water that you can drink can have a shower in and you can cook in and usually the indirect cylinder will have an electric immersion element as a backup just in case the boiler stops working these are the two main differences between direct and indirect cylinders this is a picture a typical picture of a, a direct cylinder where you got the cold water tank in the loft or in a high space in a flat and this is your cold main supply filling up the water tank from the water tank we are going into the cylinder and then coming out as hot water from the taps and this pipe goes back to the main cold as a vent pipe because when water heats up it expands and is looking for somewhere to expand to and this is vented so it will go up into this pipe as it expands do not think that it will start dripping there it only comes up a little bit as the water expands and as you can see the copper cylinder has got two immersion elements in it the lower immersion which heats up the majority of the cylinder and the upper immersion which heats up a little bit of it in most direct cylinders when you have uh, the old Economy 7 electric supply where you have two tariffs, one for off-peak and one for on-peak. The off-peak will be the lower element connected to it because then when the electricity is cheap off-peak, it will heat up the whole cylinder and the upper element will be connected to the on-peak as an emergency. It's the simplest form of hot water cylinders and flats they are becoming slightly uh, outdated for a very simple reason especially if you're living in a flat and your cold water tank is very close to where the shower is so you will not have any pressure in the shower in the old days when showers were not common and all you needed to do was fill a bath that would be okay and also most modern uh, connect, uh, fittings in baths and showers are high pressure so they re would require a higher pressure than just water coming down from your cold water tank in the loft this is a vented indirect cylinder as you can see there is also cold water storage tank which is usually a high place in a flat or in the loft and the cold feed comes into the cylinder and all that area is potable water and that is to your hot water taps and the vent into the tank to accommodate the water expansion happening here. The difference is, is as you can see the coil coming from the boiler and going back 
heating the surrounding water and an immersion element which is a backup just in case the boiler stops working and again we are going into the same issue that due to where the cold water storage area if you're living in a house the ground floor will have better pressure once you go to the first floor and trying to install a shower there you won't have any pressure in the shower and in the water so they are a little bit outdated but they still do exist this picture shows you an unvented hot water cylinder the difference between a vented hot water cylinder and an unvented hot water cylinder is the unvented hot water cylinder usually deals with much higher pressures i.e mains cold water pressure coming from the street so the inside of the cylinder what you do not see inside there is a steel drum and it is quite thick and it deals with much much higher pressure it's more modern way of installing things because it eliminates the cold water storage tank up in the loft and it's much higher pressure throughout the system due it being fed from the mains incoming pressure of the cold water this is a simple direct unvented hot water cylinder where you can see it's not showing the inlet and the outlet of the cylinder but it's basically cold water in hot water out to the taps this is cold water coming from the mains and you've got two electric immersion elements in this picture it is connected to an economy 7 controller where it would feed the lower immersion with off-peak electricity to heat up the whole cylinder while the on-peak immersion element which only heats up the top third of it is always there as an emergency if you run out of hot water and you want to top it up with hot water during the day so you'll switch on the upper immersion element which consumes on-peak electricity which is more expensive back to this picture again to show you an indirect unvented hot water cylinder and which deals with the high pressure and it is indirect because you can see the cold water inlet is coming through this combination valve it's going into the cylinder to fill it up hot water outlet is there and then you'll get one and two connections this is flow and return to heat up the coil which you can't see in there and it goes back to the hot water there is quite a few controls here that you will normally see on an invented hot water cylinder i'm not going to go into them because we are planning to do one session about invented hot water cylinders and their controls and what they do in most places or houses that are big this is more common than the direct cylinder but the difference with between the direct and the indirect uh, cylinders is with direct cylinders they are very useful when the property does not have any gas so you need to depend on electricity to supply your hot water and in this picture also you will see the immersion element which is a backup electrical way of heating the water if the boiler is not working there is other controls to the central heating there is the timer on the clock but like i said this will be a separate presentation about unvented hot water cylinders what's good what's bad and how to install them thank you very much for watching this video and i hope somebody has benefited from it have a nice day Thank you.